warning there are some evil people stealing your money while using my videos making you think it's me you're sending your money to who have set up a website in my name and attached my email by hooking it up to a PayPal account while I myself am a homeless sleeping out in the snow and in forests trying to get something to eat so here you can see the title of this film where I'm sleeping outside well I've done loads of films like that eh? cyber crime and cyber criminals like these ones here are all over the internet and they're absolutely ruthless and fully protected by the authorities and their police filling up their pockets themselves through policing for profit trying to find a maximum amount of slaves during their hard working day so they can buy all the latest goodies too the FBI already have these cyber criminals have also opened up a YouTube channel in my name in order to steal your good-hearted money that was meant for me more and more good people have sent me mails over the last years asking me if I got the money all right on my PayPal bank account say what well, I don't even have a PayPal bank account yeah look there are even YouTube tutorials saying how to run a fake YouTube channel successfully and make huge money while YouTube only gives honest video makers like me strike after strike after strike ah, but hey stealing money is no hate speech it's the universal law for money in the rat race for pharaoh slaves and as I'm a homeless not having a place to work I couldn't even warn you by making a video about that which I finally do now so I say it loud and clear again I don't have a website and I never had one and probably never will either I guess I wasn't made for this money world anyway I just can't wrap my head around it somehow I wasn't made for this world at all and can't understand the greed for even more and more that occupies people's black hearts so I have three YouTube channels left which I'll show you now and if Pharaoh would let me have a bank account one day then I'd put it in the about section in two of my channels and I would let you know in a video so here's the about section I showed in a minute and here is channels where my other two channels are and this is one of my channels central intelligence agency so I have three channels and I'll show you the about so uh, just a minute so you see in the same channel central intelligence agency with the cocaine import agency logo because it's a parody yeah the about section has another color it has a, a black line so I, I'm in the about section there's no website there's no paypal there's no please give me money nothing you see here is my email swisstorture at gmail.com so if I would have a bank account one day I'll be, I'll be making videos for 10 years I never asked anybody anything I never had a bank account because Pharaoh won't give me one so but if I would have one I'll put it here right in the about section that's all and I'll show you the other two channels so you see I'm still in the central intelligence agency channel here was the about before there was the black line here now the black line is here under channels I just click channels and these are my other two channels Homeland Security and Gatsefrats so I'll, I'll put a uh, if, if I'd have a bank account or, or website or PayPal or whatever 
I'll, um, I'll, I'll put it in the uh, uh, about section in, in one of these, in this channel here as well. Right? So don't have yourself fooled by um, cyber criminals. Okay? As they say, there are only two kinds of people, the haves and the have-nots. And I guess I'm destined to belong to the latter group. Well, at least I'll be in the majority, eh? For not having this video get too boring, talking about money-related problems. And I hate to talk about money. I will end this short video by showing you some interesting images and details I've come across. So here's the logo of the Mount Sinai hospital in New York, probably scamming you right now because of the corona. And um, we can all see the Freemason pyramids here. Here on the blue sides, it's again the colors blue, red and white, pharaonic colors. It's a concept of four, there are four lines in blue for the wall, because that's us. We are the concept of four, the base of the pyramid. And here is the concept of three, that's them going up like in the pyramid, it's red. It's the old world's order. And the old world's order, it's, uh, that's the feudal vertical rule of the aristocracy, which is them. Red is the color for the royalists. So we got the royalists, that's them. We got us, the people, and we're all in the whites, which is the new world's order. Gee, Mount Sinai. I didn't know they had any mountains in uh, in New York. <laughs> you remember my uh, my Gurkha? Oh, mountains in New York? I'll show you any mountains on my homeland security. Go and have a look. So, yeah, Mount Sinai. Couldn't they find something nearer? Hey, eh? Mount Sinai. So here, look. It says Sinai. That's the peninsula. And here's Giza, Cairo, the big pyramids here. So what do we find in Sinai? Pyramids and pharaohs. So the pharaohs are in New York with their pyramid logo and the concept of three and four of the Freemasons, the pharaonic colors, the blue war crown for us, the concept of four, because we do the wars for them and red for them for the hierarchical pyramid. Eh? One more time. So here's New York. So it is the hospital in New York. All right. Not that, you know, it says here, find a doctor. Uh, what happened? And, uh, well, here's the logo again. All right. Ah, well, talking about doctors and hospitals with pyramids and pyramid logos and Freemason symbols. Well, look, here we got Jeffrey Epstein together with Bill Gates. And one of these is called Huber, the Swiss Huber, probably this one, if I see his head. And, uh, well, they're all the witch doctors, hey? Eh? They love their sort of logos. And look at the light here behind them, the light bearer. What is this statue doing here? Has it got a ball on, there, on its head, you know, like the, the world domination? It's all one bunch. It's all pyramids and pyramid logos, witch doctors pharaohs eh? look at all the sun rays coming out from behind him looks like the messiah himself eh? so while talking about doctors and medicines and like the mount sinai hospital and bill gates uh, viruses so i've already shown you this in my video on homeland security about novartis and they're having a, uh, a laboratory, this one here, a lab, in, in, in Shanghai, next to Wuhan. And they are very criminal uh, enterprise. But there were two things I wanted to add here. First of all, I looked at the anagram of Novartis, and I immediately saw the word SAR, S-A-R which means a king or a pharaoh, like in a sarcophag or Caesar or the Tsars, like a sarcophagus. And then I saw the word von, 
which is also aristocratic. It's an aristocratic uh, German name, you know, like von uh, von Stauffenberg, you know, like all of them who has von in front of their names, they are aristocrats. So what does it leave us? Ti, and Ti is the uh, is the name of the element titanium, and it's also a a female name Ti. There are some famous people who were called Ti, so you get the name titanium von Tsar, which is interesting. Might be far fetched, but I mean far fetching. That this is what these people do. This is what they like go far-fetching, so we don't understand it. And it's obvious, you know, von and Sar and Tai. I don't really know how to put it together, but it's an interesting anagram. And all these names of all these you know, symbols, it all has a meaning. The same as this thing here. And I, I told you in that video I did about this, um, that it looks like an um, artificial insemination. You know, the injection needle here into the egg. And there's also the crescent moon here, which is not a coincidence. It's even yellow, right? Because the Knights Templars, they were teamed up with the Caliphate. And this is what we see now in Europe. We've got the um, Eurabia going on. And again, I have no problems with Arabic people and, I mean, the people or Muslims, not at all. I meet a lot of nice Muslims who take me hitchhiking and give me food. So, but it's not them, you know, it's the, the caliphate, the caliph is the aristocracy. So the uh, Sharia, uh, Sar-ri-a, there you got the word again, Sar, it's uh, by Pharaoh. And I saw this uh, recently, or like a two years, no, it's already a couple of years, two years back. Um, of the Prince Morris. So I'm going to show you this now. Another Prince, another von Sar. And he's showing this, you know, the uh, artificial insemination. I mean, this is where they want to go to, make us infertile. I mean, this is the consequence of the, of the corona. First, they bring, it, bring us to us. You know, and then they do the, uh, they give us the uh, the vaccinations. We are infertile, and then there's the uh, artificial insemination. I mean, in the logo it shows the agenda where they want to lead us to. And also like a, well, it has the colors as well. You know, red, blue, and yellow. You know, you could say it's white. Because like old things, you know, like white gets a bit yellowish, you know. The moon, is it really yellow? It's often depicted, depicted as yellow, but in fact it's white. So I'll show it to you. It's coming up. So here it is. It's the, uh, of the uh, in, in, uh, artificial insemination here. This is like, this is a whole circle. And this is the video. Here's the title. So you punch it in yourself. And you see this a lot, you know. And actually, this thing here is also a part of a um, of a pentagon, the pentagon cross, the satanic cross, you know, like this. And, you know. and um, uh, I, I found the concept of three and four, and this was in the Netherlands on a site of a of the Prince Morris, same name as Saint Morris, the Roman pharaonic killer who was already in Switzerland, uh, who settled down there with his legions uh, in the third century after Christ, the third century, yeah. So it's the same thing as on the, on the Novartis. And again, it's a prince, it's Tsar, it's the aristocracy, it's Pharaoh. So this here is what a Muslim subscriber uh, sent me on the Masjid al-Haram in Mecca, there's even a sun hieroglyph and an octagon on it. He made a nice red circle around it on top. You So this is the holiest of the holiest for the Muslims. And of course, it's the king of Saudi Arabia, who is a pharaoh, who also destroyed the Jamarat. And the Jamarat is related to one of the five pillars 
of Islam, which is the, the Hajj. So that means the Hajj is not any more valuable. So, in fact, Islam is not valid anymore. And um, if one of the five pillars has disappeared of Islam, then it's not valid anymore. They're all pharaohs, they're all destroying everything. As they infiltrated Christianity, they also infiltrated this here by all the kings and the queens and the caliph, the emir, the sultan, they're all pharaohs, it's all Firaun. So this again is the Masjid al-Haram, this is a little bit more down. And the sun hieroglyph, I mean, why are there symbols of Firaun? Because the king of Saudi Arabia, you know, the house of the house of Saud, the Per Saud, they're all pharaohs, it's all Firaun, everything is. And dear, dear Muslim friends, I mean, we all have the same enemy, all peoples of this earth, we all have the same enemy. We must team up all together against this enemy. We are not each other's enemy. I mean, everybody should go to his own place, maybe his own nest, you know. But uh, we are not enemies, you know. The enemy is Fir'aun, as it says in the uh, in the Quran. So, what is the Jamarat when they were uh, Muslims have to throw stones at three obelisks? And in 2004, the, uh, the, the king of Saudi Arabia, he had it exploded with C4, with explosives. I had a film about it on uh, Gure on my other channel, but it got taken away. I think I still got something on my channel, Gatsefrat, where you can see the, um, even you can see the explosion. And um, so the Hajj and one of the five pillars of Islam is not valid anymore. Uh, Fir'aun wants to destroy everything. So, I mean, dear Muslims, your the biggest enemy is the enemy of within. The white man or the Christians or the Jews, they're not your enemy. The same for Christians, you know, the enemy is the Pharaoh. Read your Bible, Pharaoh is the enemy. Read the Quran, Fir'aun is the enemy. Even here in the holiest of holiest, you see this, this satanic symbols and they attract demons. And, and you know, you must do a lot of praying. That's why they do a lot of praying because of all, get rid of all the demons you get there of these pharaohs and their symbols. So here I have something on the Islamic Jamarat in uh, on one of my older videos here, my channel Gatsefrat. So here's the title, just punch it in. It says Jamarat. Um, but it's not, um, I, I don't think I've got the, uh, the footage in this one. It was on my channel Gure and that's gone forever. And uh, this, all my other channels, I will take it down as, as well, probably. Eh? So not many Muslims know this, that um, they destroyed the Jamarat. And uh, yeah, so go and have a look at it. It's an interesting film, this one here. It tells you some more things about, you know, the, um, here, the biggest discovery of the 20th century happened on March 3rd, 1938. Very important, in Saudi Arabia, when the biggest oil reserve was found in the Arabian desert enabling World War II with annexation of Austria 10 days later. Um, because it needs a lot of petrol, a lot of oil, you know, to wage a war. And they had the, the enormous oil well. So the Second World War could start, eh? Uh, the fun could start for the pharaohs, Fir'aun. So the same Muslim guy from Yugoslavia, who found me the, um, the satanic occult symbols on the um, Masjid al-Haram in Mecca, and he found it himself, so respect, bro. He sent me this. I made a, this video about this ship called the Swiss Corona, traveling down rivers and the Mediterranean in Europe. Imagine a Swiss called the Swiss, a ship called the, the MS, well, again, MS, eh? Mason, Swiss Corona. And as I've been telling you, the, uh, the word Ri, uh, it means the sun. And look, they made a sun around the Ri. 
And this Muslim guy saw it and he sent it to me. So thanks, bro. Really good. I didn't even see it. So I'll show you the, the name of this video in a moment. I talked about it in my um, in uh, the Swiss Beast, Home of the Devil, I think, part three. And I also have it on my channel, Homeland Security, talking about the, the, the Swiss Corona ship. And I mean, look, there's the sun around Ri. Why do they do it? You know, there's, there's a reason for it. Because Ri, it means the sun in Demotic, the Pharaonic language. Ri is the sun. Uh, there, there's nothing without the reason for these, these people, our masters. And they love it, you know, like to hide it in plain sight. Oh, they love it. Eh? And at the same time, this is the, uh, the concept of three and it's the compass. And the compass is them. And they come out of the sun, apparently. You know, so it all fits together. So it's on this YouTube channel, Planet Cruise. Here's the title. Yeah, and on two minutes thirty-one, you can see a lot of more things. You can see this uh, Ri Viera thing. And you see the ship is called the MS Swiss Corona, and this is from two thousand and fourteen. Imagine, eh? So also go look at my film then at Homeland Security about it's it's something about the Corona. Yeah, then I saw this in a film on YouTube. Look. It's like a decoration, you know, always a decoration on the wall. You know, it's square and compass. You know, the circle is stands for the compass, and of course this is a square. And they all see it, you know, nice to, you know, to have some decoration like this on the wall and all your mates are seeing it, eh? Yeah, we're conspiring against the world. You know, if you ever visit, oh yeah, you too, you know, and then you do the handshake and okay, you belong to the club, oh, let's have a drink, eh? And you see, the interesting thing is here, this forms a Swiss cross here. And here in the middle, this circle isn't closed. These ones are, clo uh, are open, these compasses, and this one is not. There's all, uh, yeah. And there's another concept of four because there are four of them. And, um, well, it, it's already the concept of four because it's a square. And this is the concept of three. So it says square and compass. With a compass, you can make this thing here. And they all see it. Then in another video, someone sent me, I saw this um, disgusting secret symbol of the Pizzagate affair and the... Um, of the pedophiles and raping children, satanic stuff. So you all see the three dots here, right? Well, that's the concept of three. So it stands for the compass. And in the red, you see a square here. So it says square and compass. And this is what Freemasons do. I mean, they are satanic. Um, it's, it's all demons. The moment you take the oath and all that, you, you, you get loaded with demons. And uh, they're, they're, it's all secret orders, doing secret, raping children, um, kidnapping children, killing uh, whistleblowers, put them in prison. They're the ones behind it. And it's all from, the, from Pharaoh's aristocracy. That's why we have the two pillars in blue, Yachin and Boaz here behind. And blue, it means it's a war. Blue is the war crown and it's a war against humanity. Right? And here is the red for the, for the red house, the old world's order. That means the aristocracy who are the ones who are, who are doing it. And it's all in white, which means the new world's order. That's where it all happened. So I'm not going to tell you what it means, this symbol in their um, uh, lingo or description. Uh, it's uh, disgusting. This is a very interesting story here. Uh, uh, it's in the German Spiegel, and I don't want to click in it because I don't want any cookie cutters. 
no cookies for me. And um, I met the, uh, the great granddaughter and the granddaughter as well of uh, the Duke Alexan Alexander Schalza von Ehrenfeld. And he sued in the, uh, in the 60s, I think in 1964, I think. But you can click on it yourself if you want, you know, have a look. You can just read the whole article. It's, um, yeah, 1964. And um, the, the, the great grandfather and the grandfather, I, uh, he, um, he sued um, like the hobby Templar organizations, you know, which pop up, pop up all over the internet. All these guys, you know, who want to be a Templar. But, you know, you have to be an aristocrat and of pharaonic descent if you want to be a Templar or a Caliph or from a, from a Muslim ar aristocrat. Otherwise, you can't be a real Templar. And this guy, a real, out of the real Templars, his ancestors at least, he was, he, he got really mad because of all these, they call them in German Schwindelunternehmen or hobby Templars. And um, the real Templars don't like this. And so this is a proof, you know, that all these wannabe European white guys, you know, or uh, sort of, uh, um, nationalists who think oh, it's nice to be a Templar and you know and all that uh, they should know that they can never be a real Templar because it's the, the criteria is not the, relig the religion as they showed us the criteria for being a real Templar is being an aristocrat and if you're not you cannot be a real Templar so the real Templars, you know, all these guys who want to be, want to be Templars, you know, it's nice, you know, to be in a costume and all that. It's like carnival, you know, you can, uh, you can show your mates and impress a girlfriend or whatever. Oh, I'm a real Templar. You don't mess with me. Eh? So you have to know that your biggest enemy are the real Templars. Hey, eh? you want to be Templars. And uh, so Schalza von er Alexander Schalza von Ehrenfeld, the Duke, a real Duke, he sued him in court, and it was in the, it was all over the media in the, in the sixties. And um, so this proves again that you cannot just be a Templar, you know, just put yourself on a um, um, some Templar clothes and buy yourself a sword in the internet. You cannot. It's impossible. And I met uh, the great granddaughter of um, the Duke Alexander Schalza von Ehrenfeld in Rennes le Chateau. And then she took me to Dusseldorf in Germany and I talked to her mother, who was the, the granddaughter of the Duke Alexander Schalza von Ehrenfeld. And of course, I, I, I understood this uh, interesting story uh, with another. Uh, with another view. And I must say, the, um, the granddaughter of the Duke Alexander Schalza von Ehrenfeld, she had really good manners, very aristocratic, good manners. And that was, uh, that was quite a joy talking to this woman. Really good experience. Look, they even have astronomical scopes, are called ISAs. And um, they just, with the, um, it's just short for a longer term, I'll, I'll, terminology, I'll show that in a minute. I mean, it's all hidden, people. It's all pharaonic. It's all, and, and you, the slave, you are just there to feed them, eh? And to clean up the park while they are doing all these nice things like looking at the stars where they probably come from. Now you can see it, this telescope called ISIS. So it's the uh, Intermediate Dispersion uh, Spectrograph and Imaging System called ISIS, short ISIS. They just make it so it fits ISIS. Eh? Even the Islamic State, it always have to fit ISIS or something. There's, there's a clue somewhere anyway, like with the three and the four and in the images and their secret symbols or in the name, there's always a clue. And then there's this here. This is the crest or the coat of arms of the house of Rothschild. 
per Rothschild. And there's a lot more to see, but I just want to show you three things. First of all, there are three armors, which is the concept of three, which is them, our masters, and Rothschild, they are the aristocracy, the Jewish aristocracy, but they're not real Jews. They are pharaohs or the Erev Rav. It's the same thing as when you when you say when you ask Prince Charles, "What are you English? Are you the prince?" You know, he he, he won't answer you, but he 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 probably think English. No, that's the people. They play soccer. You know, and it's the same with Rothschild. They, they are not. They are pharaohs. They are no Jews. And. Um, it's probably the same house as um, Netanyahu and all the, all the politicians. It's everywhere the same. We're all being ruled by Pharaoh and, and Freemasons in, in every country in the world. So that's why they have the, um, the seal of Solomon. And Solomon was a king over the Israelites. He was a Pharaoh. So the, again, this has nothing to do with any Jews. And what I wanted to show you actually was the Isis horns here. Why do they have the Isis horns? And also uh, Hathor, she has the same thing. And of course you've got the unicorn, but that's not really that important. Um, the, the horns of Isis or Hathor, there are two different ones, eh? but Hathor also has these horns. And you see it everywhere eh, nowadays. And then the, it's the concept of three, which stands for the concept, for the, uh, the compass, and which is them, because it's 60 degrees, and with 60 degrees, three times, you can make a, um, a, um, a triangle, which is the side of the pyramid, which is the hierarchy. So the three is always them. So here's a depiction of Hathor with the same horns as in the... Um, as in the crest of uh, Rothschild. And people say, you know, the historians and all that, the humans, I mean, what does it look like? Ah, oh, it looks like a sun, oh, it must be the sun. It's a bit more complicated than that, but that would take too long to explain that to you here. But you see the horns, right? the same thing. It's all pharaonic, Rothschild are pharaohs. And this is interesting from a stone carving in Egypt, you know, the Hathor horns. This is two times Hathor, one here and one here. And this is a woman in labor. As I told you, the Hathor is the goddess of the womb and of the unborn child, you know, related to vaccinations and infertility. You know, they want to control it all, right? And that's why the, the, the Masons and, and all that, they, they use it. And I saw it when I went into this um, satanic ritual place in an ancient Templar commandery where I saw this reptilian statue and the statue of this, the woman with the, um, with the skeletons growing out of her body. It's all related to this. This, this is their belief. And um, so Hathor, they need, you know, a woman in labor she needs the help of, uh, so this slave here, she needs the help of uh, Hathor. Well, I mean, that's what people believe, eh? uh, the goddess of the womb. And related to all the politicians doing the oval, the womb, you know, like folding their hands together, as I've shown you many, many, many times. So. And last but not least, this is what where the uh, our masters the pharaohs the aristocracy the masons the elite how they call their base the alpine wonderland alice in wonderland the alpine wonderland well it's more like a nightmare to me eh?